What's cracking guys? It's your boy Mikey coming up to you with another quick video real quick before I get on out of here. Um, I know I'm a day late or 20 hours late, but damn dude, that must have been one hell of a party. <laughs> so um, I'm sure you guys all heard the news, but I'm just going to give you my thoughts real quick. Um, Spencer Gallagher, Xfinity uh, Series driver. Um, never uh, He won his first career Xfinity win last Saturday at Talladega in... The last lap they led to win that race, that was his only lap led in his entire Xfinity career. And as a longtime NASCAR fan, I love seeing guys, young guys, winning in underfunded teams with not a lot of money, not a lot of sponsorship, not a lot of uh, firepower under uh, that uh, hood in the engine. And seeing his emotions in victory lane, I was excited, you know, under his dad's team. And he said, quote, after, you know, he's all, you know, celebrating, having a good time, he's happy, he's proud of himself, and he should be, quote, he said this in Victory Lane during his interview, quote, we're going to party like it's 1999. Four days later, yesterday, Wednesday morning, got the uh, notification alert, Spencer Gallagher has been suspended by NASCAR indefinitely for abusing the substance and drug abuse policy, end quote. Damn, dude, that must have been a hell of a party. I mean, did you invite Jeremy Mayfield or something? Damn. <laughs> I got that. I'm like, damn. <laughs> but, uh, all right, all jokes aside, I'm disappointed in him because he seemed like a cool kid. I think he's got a lot of potential to make it to the uh, Cup Series. But at the same time, I'm happy for him that he, you know, he admitted he fucked up. He, he owned up to his mistakes. And right away, he's going to... Um, go into the uh, recovery, NASCAR reco uh, recovery program or whatever it's called. Honestly, I'm looking at this as a same thing that A.J. Allmendinger, uh, what he went through a couple years ago, if you guys don't recall. I think it was 2012 after the uh, Coke 6, or not Coke, the Coke 0400 uh, July race at Daytona. Uh, NASCAR found out that uh, he uh, failed a drug test and he had to sit out for the rest of the year. He was suspended indefinitely. He got fired from uh, Penske Racing, and he's with the uh, 47 team, uh, JTR Motorsports. Um, and look at him, he's got a cup win. Uh, he won a cup race in 2014 at Watkins Glen. So he, I just hope he comes back, uh, Spencer. I just hope he comes back as a better person. Because um, I, th I think he's got a lot of potential. He seems like a cool kid. The only question I have is, did he take this before the race, or was he intoxicated during the race, or was he? did he take it after what he said he was going to party like it's 1999? The only thing is, dude, it's 19 years later. It's not even 1999 anymore. It's 2018, and, uh, I mean, everything, everyone knows what's going on. I mean, there's social media, there's Twitter, Facebook, uh, Snapchat, Instagram, all that shit, so, um... No, that's my thoughts. I mean, I, I laughed. I, I just put a face palm to my face when I first uh, heard the news. Why does my new phone do that? Um, when I first heard the news, I just put my face right. I put a face palm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I even put the emoji on Twitter, and then I immediately said that must have been a hell of a party. But um, overall, I'm I'm glad he uh, he owned up to his mistakes. Uh, I think he will come back. Uh, I don't know when. I don't know if he's how long it's going to take, but he's jumping into the road to re uh, recovery program. Good for him. He's going to, hopefully he'll come back stronger and better and more of a smarter person. So uh, that's all I got to say. I uh, just want to give you guys my thoughts and I will catch you guys on the next one.